Hi, I'm Dr. Jared Gardner, and I'd like to welcome you to my dermatopathology elective on pathelective.com. Um, I am going to be your course director uh, for this uh, virtual elective. And um, if you haven't heard of uh, pathelective.com yet, it's a, a new site that was set up by my good buddy, um, Kamran Mirza. Uh, and he and uh, colleagues have put together a uh, program where you can do electives in di various different subspecialty areas of pathology and uh, learn remotely. And it's particularly aimed at medical students in their clinical years, as well as I think junior residents can benefit from this. So I also, before going any farther, want to thank um, the team of uh, resident volunteers and fellow volunteers, Dr. Brandon Zellman, Dr. Adil Ahmed, Dr. Abdullah al Swid, and Dr. Kellen Dawson, who worked really hard to put together and compile most of the material in this module. Some of it's gonna be YouTube videos from my channel. Some of it is uh, YouTube videos and other content from other websites and other YouTube channels. Channels. And uh, the goal of it is just to give you kind of a, a flavor of what a dermatopathology is all about and what we do. If you are uh, finding this video through my YouTube channel and you hadn't heard about pathelective.com yet, you should check it out. It's free registration. Um, I'll put a link down below in the video description. Um, so let's talk about dermatopathology. What's it all about? Well, obviously it's the study of the pathology of the skin. So I spend a lot of my day looking under the microscope at skin biopsies and trying to figure out what kind of tumor it is, what kind of rash it is. So it's like other parts of pathology, but focused on the skin. One of the unique and special things about Dermpath though that I really love is that there's a lot of importance in clinical information. What did the rash look like on the patient? What other things did the patient have going on medically? What did the dermatologist think that it was from a clinical perspective? That sometimes is very helpful and even crucial in deciding what the diagnosis is. So as a dermatopathologist, you get to have a close working relationship with clinical dermatologists and we work together to take the clinical appearance and the clinical history and the pathologic findings and put them together and arrive at the best diagnosis for the patient. To me, that's one of the most satisfying parts about this is being able to see what it looks like on the skin surface with the naked eye and looking under the microscope and seeing what it looks like pathologically, understanding how the way it looks under the microscope makes the skin look different to the naked eye, and then working together closely with my dermatology colleagues to help uh, get the patient the best care possible. So I really love that aspect of Dermpath. Um, if you are someone like me who likes things kind of rapid pace and maybe you have a little bit of a uh, attention deficit like I do um, and hyperactivity. It's great because the pace of derm path is pretty fast. You, you work through cases quickly and you don't usually have huge long cases that are really in depth and have a hundred slides every once in a while maybe. Uh, but a lot of times it's a single slide, single biopsy. You find that diagnosis and move on to the next case. So you have a kind of sense of accomplishment as you go through your day. And I, I find that my, the way my brain's wired, that works really nicely with uh, the way my brain is. Um, of course, that's not to say you do have some cases that are very challenging and that take a lot of time to look at and think about and, um, and figure out what's going on. Um, if you are um, contemplating a career in dermatopathology, the general path is that after medical school, you either do a residency in pathology or in dermatology, and then you follow that with a one or sometimes two year fellowship um, in dermatopathology. So both pathologists and dermatologists can become dermatopathologists in the end. And if you're a med student and you're still wondering, do I really wanna be a pathologist? I, I like that microscope stuff, but I'm not really sure. What about, you know, what if I'm a people person? I'm like the most outgoing people person, the most extroverted person you probably will ever meet. And I know a lot of pathologists who are extroverts and we still love being pathologists. I talk to people all day long, even though it's true, I usually don't get to talk to my patients face to face, although I do volunteer in some patient support groups on Facebook. And so I get to talk to patients with rare disease almost every day, actually, in a volunteer capacity. I don't actually see or talk to my own patients, but I still take care of patients. Every piece of glass that I hold up, every, every slide with a piece of tissue on it, this is a piece of someone. And what I say about that piece actually will change their life potentially. So I take it very seriously and I know that what I'm doing is actually making a difference for my patients, even though I don't have that face-to-face -face interaction. I'm able to care for patients and I talk to people, other doctors, members of my lab staff um, all day long. I, I sometimes will look at my phone and I'll have made 15 or 20 calls in a day about patients and cases. So sometimes I'm actually very busy talking to people all day long. Um, you um, have to still be a good communicator as a pathologist because what we put in our reports, it really matters. Um, and making sure that what I say is fully understood by the treating physician 
um, is incredibly important to make sure that the patient gets the best care possible. So if you enjoy any element of pathology, whether DermPath uh, through this module or any of the other path elective electives or electives at your own school in pathology, if you like looking at microscopic stuff, then you owe it to yourself to consider pathology as a possible career option. Um, I would do it all over again if I had a chance to go back. And if you're curious about how I got into pathology or about what the day in the life of a regular pathologist is like, um, I'll put some links to videos and some articles down below um, that will give you some information. So this is not just about DermPath, but just generally what it's like to be a pathologist. I think it's a wonderful career option if you enjoy it. Um, it's the best job in the world. I get to uh, have fun and learn and see sciencey stuff uh, that's very fascinating and visually interesting. And I get to help patients and I get to come to work and do that every day and make a living um, by doing something like that. I mean, how, how much more lucky could I be than that? So, so I hope all of you will consider a career in pathology and particularly think about DermPath. And I hope that you enjoy uh, the content in this module and that it gives you an idea of what I do every day as a dermatopathologist. Thanks so much and uh, good luck.